In this Star Wars gaming news update video, I will be sharing with you a brand new interview that is about the upcoming strategy game by Respawn and Bitreactor. Before we do take a look at this interview and what it contains for the upcoming Star Wars game, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future Star Wars gaming news updates, especially ones on this upcoming strategy game. So in case you didn't know, it was announced last year that Respawn would be producing a game developed by Bitreactor, and this would be a strategy game that's more in the line of XCOM because a lot of XCOM developers have gone to form their own studio called Bitreactor. The website's game developer have published a brand new interview with the co-founder of Bitreactor, Greg Forscht. He is also the creative director on this new Star Wars game. In case you don't know, he was one of the great minds behind XCOM 2, Civilization 4, and XCOM Enemy Unknown. And for the past couple of years, he has decided to make his own studio, Bitreactor, and has been focused on growing this team up to over now 50 employees, according to this article. At the time of recording this video, they currently have 32 job listings on their website. This article, though, focuses on what he wants to do to push the strategy genre forwards. Greg says he wanted creatives running a company and not business people, so that's what they are doing at Bitreactor. It's critical that Bitreactor hires people that they can actually trust as well to do their jobs, whether it be on the development or business side. He wants every single person to contribute ideas equally. There's no class system and everyone should feel comfortable bringing their ideas to the table. Now, this mindset is what Greg believes will help Bitreactor think progressively about strategy design. He says the best ideas come from the place that you least expect. Forsch explains that half of the team come from strategy games, whereas the other half don't. For example, they have people from Gears of War working on it. The cinematic director on the game worked on those games. He's from the Coalition, and he's bringing a different perspective to camera work. But there are many more examples. He also says that the strategy genre has been too often being shaped by system designers in creative positions. Something that has driven him is that he wanted to get players to understand that I can have two of those things when playing a strategy game. He also suggests that the genre has looked inwards for so long because it was shunned on consoles. He personally believes that XCOM plays better on a controller and that's how things have evolved. I'm pretty sure we'll see this Star Wars strategy game make its way to console. It's not just going to be a PC only game. He does state that he thinks there are a lot of strategy games in the past that don't have many accessible features. There's a lack of them and he doesn't agree with it. So he wants to make games as accessible as possible. So that's one of the pillars of system design that should try and inform how studios approach development nowadays. We should look to remove barriers to entry irrespective of the platforms we're targeting. So yeah, this definitely sounds like they are trying to make this strategy game more open to what other strategy games do in this genre. So that's good to hear. When you are a new Bitreactor employee, the company will ask you to check out the new Star Wars game they are developing so they can see where the new developer stumbles and succeeds. They actually record these playthroughs so the entire team can see what idea is working and which needs to be revisited. It's about getting everybody, myself included, to realise they can't be precious about ideas, Greg says. Speaking of playtests, the team also does strive to have a playtest as a group every two weeks. Some might take the controller while others watch and learn. Others might choose to play at their own desk, but all of that feedback is compiled and assessed to chart a path forward without a sense of prejudice. It's about respecting what came before, but shouldn't be afraid to leave stuff behind. You need to evaluate an idea, is it genuinely good or was it deemed good because of the tech that was available at the time? That's how I approach game design in general. The reason why I've covered this interview is because we probably won't hear about this game for quite some time in an official capacity when it comes to like a reveal, but we are getting some small bits here and there from Bitreact, whether it be on their social channels or in an interview like this. This sort of stuff is really interesting to me, and I love to hear game developers talking about their game, even though they can't really talk about 
what they are developing too much before it's officially revealed. Very few people don't know this actually exists or they have forgotten about it, but it's going to be a game that will surprise people, I think. It was just in June that Bit Reactor actually outgrew their initial studio, so they've expanded their areas for, for some of the teams. It is going to be very interesting to see what this team of former XCON developers and developers from other games help create in the strategy genre for Star Wars. Let me know down in the comments section below any of your thoughts, and if you enjoyed this video please do drop a like, subscribe for more Star Wars gaming news updates, and if you did miss any of my previous videos click on the playlist on screen right now, and I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.